Just yesterday, I was booking a doctor's appointment for my father. Him sitting right next to me. Halfway through, he looks at me and says, "Do you remember there was a time where I used to wait hours and hours just to get this appointment? Now it's a matter of you know few taps on your phone, and which would get you the appointment right away." That makes me wonder how much the digital healthcare landscape has changed in the last decade or so. To uncover the full story about the progress in digital healthcare in India, I am joined by Suhail from Gates Foundation India. Great to meet you, Raf. Great to meet you. Speaking of advancements in digital healthcare, we can't really ignore the role of technology, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's like you trying to now do assignments without the help of generative AI. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. Yeah. But you're right. If you look at eSanjeevni as a teleconsultation platform, uh, which provides access to healthcare services to millions of people who possibly may not find access to healthcare facilities easily or to specialist doctors. we continue to have more than 300000 consultations a day even post pandemic uh, and that's great right yeah yeah uh, if you look at ayushman bharat digital mission as a program which is setting the foundation for digital health in india uh, it's a unique construct and will benefit a lot in terms of uh, setting the digital health ecosystem in india that reminds me do you have ayushman bharat health account of yours ab ab aa rahe hai yeah yes. yeah of course i have ab okay in fact you know that's how i monitor my health records and this is how i've been monitoring my hemoglobin track over a 6 months now and it's been doing wonders for me this is great yeah i also read on a data point there was an incredible 70% drop in maternal mortality rate from late 2000s yeah absolutely and it's been great progress right uh but now as we move on to reduce it further is going to be very challenging yes indeed the role of digital health here is also going to be critical just to give an example if there's a pregnant woman who today goes for her regular checkup during the pregnancy period there is first the element of ensuring that the data information of her checkups is providing any indicator of that potentially being a high risk pregnancy because we need to flag those right because they are at the highest risk um second and which is very important is once we have identified a high risk pregnancy that data information now needs to be available to higher level of facilities like district hospital or medical college so that they are better equipped when she comes for delivery when the time comes so hopefully this will help india to achieve the sustainable development goal on mmr absolutely so so hey Looks like we are heading in the right direction. What is our next stop? Where are we headed? I think we are very excited and optimistic about what AI can do with respect to healthcare service delivery, as well as potentially saving lives. And some of the government of India initiatives, like the India AI Mission, uh, or the more recently set up uh, of Center of Excellence for AI for Health, mm -hmm. uh, are great investments from the government. One of the interesting use cases by the COE is on using image data of digital X-rays. on potentially identifying tb patients uh, at a mass screening level that's really exciting uh, yeah and i think the another opportunity is on can we use ai for accelerating vaccine development process itself no oh, vaccines the superheroes which saves us from life threatening diseases indeed they are now that we have mentioned about superheroes if you were one of the superhero what is the superpower that you would like to have I wish I had a magic wand which I could tap on your hand and just get all your health data right away. <laughs> uh, but realistically, we are coming close to that. The convergence that we see with respect to digital and diagnostic devices uh, is out there now. And the phone example you showed earlier, or the watch that I'm wearing, could mm -hmm. provide a lot more information about our health, which could be useful not just in terms of curative aspect of healthcare services, but also the preventive component. After this conversation the most exciting thing for me is the possibility that 
we are building a healthier future for not just for our generations but generations to come as well correct and every digital health intervention contributes to a stronger health system which should hopefully have a lasting impact on future generation and that is what progress in the healthcare truly needs thank you sohel thank you for your time pleasure progress in india is a journey that we have embarked upon one that's built on continuous growth innovation and collective efforts